You see what those fascist shitbags did? It's time to kick their asses. Well, I am very amused that you find this rescue mission exciting. Because we sure as hell don't. Ricardo! Guys, you made it! How did you know? You think this is funny, Adam? What in Sam hell are you doing here? Guys, we're getting ready to fight the Battleground Ministry. We can't stand these guys. But what part of Russell's on diplomatic parole do you not get? You might have just jeopardized everything with this little stunt you and that douche got going on here. Whoa, Ricardo. Last I checked, we're all allies here. So what the Sam hell, bro? That's right, last you checked was arranged. Now it's last minute and Russell is in the vicinity. And if he gets popped, it's on you. Hey, I'm not your enemy. Down there are those terrorist monsters who need to get their faces smacked. Okay, you know what, honey? You need to get him for a smacking. No one is going to be smacking anybody. Look, kid, you need to get out of the playground world and start living in reality. And if all you have is reality, then the only thing you will have is brutality. Okay, you know what, kid? I'm really trying hard not to get on my wife right now, but you're really, really pushing it. I anticipated a way for you all to come on board this mission. If it wasn't for Trump letting us know about your presence here, Adam, things wouldn't be in order. And you, Derosis, I'll never forget the part you played in this. And I'm sure I won't forget the part you will play in this. Chronic, we're posted up, 11 blocks away from where Derosis will have our people enter. Adam, all right? Ricardo and Rachel confirmed him. It's going to be a matter of time before we start bringing grounds, and that's going to cause panic friction within everyone in this unit. We can't have disciplinary action, man. Agreed. We just need to settle him down as well as all of us. I'll be monitoring the situation from afar. Keep calm links on tight. This is an unplanned situation. I'll guide and coordinate your defenses as much as I can. Got it. Lo mataría, Kitty. Lo mataría como muchos tiempos no son justice castigado. Esta discusión no es. Glenn Davis wants to be dead. Yo los que preocupación, como mucho yo lento, que vaya de partida y cepta, la no sé si que gusta, la o si no, comprendido? Si. Apologetic, what he said wasn't it? Well, Adam can be annoying, but human beings can be a lot frustrating and nerve wracking. But then again, he's right. Reality is nothing but the ultimate enemy. It's funny how the enemy is reality, or people that enforce it with such authoritative disciplinary terrorism. We kept our friends in small places close, but we were more invested in keeping our enemies even closer, which were everywhere. My friend is my enemy. In return is my friend. We never learned that various equation until the aftermath of a violent conflict. That's why the enemy knows everything, but the target has everything the enemy wants to have. And that deal is special. Our unit will be targeted pretty much. Thanks for the lookout. You know, as I dream, or death rules everything around me, aka. When people lecture me on how I'm out of touch with reality, I ask why, who, and what is so desperately important to touch in reality anymore. Food. Huh? Pizza. What? Lemon shrimp. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, a salad with blue cheese Caesar. Okay, now. Chili nachos with organic avocado slices on top. Rachel, baby, you're making me hungry now. Potato chives with sour cream and vegetables drenched in vinegar. And garlic. Strawberries and cream on top of a pound cake. Hey, 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 you're putting food, you're, put, you're putting words in my mouth that are really tickling my taste buds. Stop that, stop that. And that's what we have a lot to taste. It's good to pull the taste toss using puppet strings. If there were any. You got me as usual, wife. Oh, so now. But that now happens. Me and you know how to make sense out of nonsense. So does the rest of our unit. Well, judging by the way things are, we specialize in taking out monsters. Well, down there, if we're actually going in, this is too easy. What do you mean? Jarmingo is setting this into motion for a reason, and we're going to find out. It won't be an easy thing to get through, especially if we're going against the Battleground Ministry. So, what are you suggesting? Well, babe, this whole thing is unplanned. That, Jeff can't prepare. 
here. What's this? It's a wipeout grenade. Uh, I know what it is. What's the real occasion? Well, you might be strapping the NK-21-36 in your arm, but since Jeff specializes in explosives and martial arts, and since this is an unplanned mission, the last minute decision might be all over the place. Keep a few good ready for me. If you're that skeptic, stay close to me. I'm gonna do that any day. However, we end up writing this one. Either way, I'll be found here. And so will you. Hey, this is what we do. And this is not gonna stop here. In fact, this is just the beginning. I promise. Whichever that beginning is. Oh, hell, the Imperial! Hell, the Imperial! Your friend supposedly has not forgotten. I wouldn't expect him to. Living with his return is more than concerning, I see. Of course. As a prisoner, so to speak, your survival may have cost me a valuable asset. With all due respect, Offense Minister, relying on terrorists such as the Battleground Ministry was a grave risk to begin with. Excellent distinction. I once told Sikorsky's Benny before he was exiled without my approval. In my experiences with arranging the structures of war, from a praetor to a master of a nation which is referred to as a sector. I realize when war is toyed with for an extended period of time, especially for experimental purposes, I found myself realizing that the elements of war bring an astonishing visualization but a disastrous terror which is an ultimate dimensional balance lying beneath such deception. When organizing wars and trying to understand its elemental evolutions through visceral scientific processes, for analytical purposes, war's participants, disputing status, race, religion, in order to gain a climactic solution, only to be manipulated into the situation I arranged in order to further research how the elements work, by exploiting the very issue that demoralizes the participants of war by feeding the attention the regime seeks. And what you needed was this clone lab to conduct these war experiments. I felt as if judging by humanity's near enemy destruction on Earth. The last generation was not that impressive, especially untrustworthy. I felt as if certain legacies pertaining to whichever would not be prioritized, disregarded. The only way to sustain industrialization was to enforce it. The emphasis of such values applying to certain morals would be criticized in its remain. So a clone democracy was our will? Ah, oh, fairly honest. Democracy is nothing more than a mere authority consisting of experimental demonstrations, allowing itself to be vied for whichever practice as a contender. Who or whatever wins its office or title of position no matter the approach or aggression. Either way, we as a ministry have already won it. 